Okay, today we're going to go over modeling for 3D printing. And it's not really going to be much different than um, what we've done before. Uh, the only difference is that everything has to be a solid with a thickness. Um, surfaces will not print unless they're joined together into a solid. Um, and we're going to go over some ways of um, checking this uh, and uh, to find out, you know, if everything's okay. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a surface that I'm going to go ahead and um, make uh, into a ring. Um, so the first thing I've done is I've done a hole that's the size of my finger and then I did a um, oval around that. Uh, I want to make sure that I've gotten my, you know, that this distance is thick enough that it will be strong enough when I print it, it won't break, but not so thick that it'll be uncomfortable. Um, and I probably could have done a, you know, more complicated shape here, um, but I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, okay, and then I have uh, uh, an arc that's going to be the profile that I'm going to sweep between these two rails. Uh, the thing that I want to make sure is that my profile uh, is... Um, the same size as my um, two rails at some point. Um, it's not connected, but they're intersecting the ends of my lines. And that um, I that the profile is going to get uh, smaller, that it's draftable here. Um, not that it has to be, but for the thing that I'm going to do next, um, I uh, I want it that way. If I if my curve uh, it starts to get bigger from this point, I'm going to have a dimple running around the center of my ring, which um, I don't want to have. But you might want. Um, but so this is what I've got. So I'm going to create this surface. Oops. And sweep two rails. It asked me for the first rail, the second rail, and then the the profile. I hit return. Um, don't want to simplify it. I can just leave these as default and hit sweep. And there is my beautiful half a ring. Now some of you might be saying, well, why didn't you just do your um, profile a closed shape and then you would have this all as a solid shape and you were all right that that would be um, the best way to go about that but um, then I couldn't show you these other things so I'm going to do it uh, this other way and this way it would allow me to have two different surface uh, sides or perform operations on these things separately um, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to um, mirror this surface and I want, oh, i got to select it, then I'm going to select objects to mirror. I've got my um, See, so I'll put midpoint and end snaps on. So I am snapping to a point on my um, surface that I'm mirroring, and then snapping to the other another point on the other side. I'm going straight across there, and snap it, and there we go. So now I've got two surfaces there that are um, 
lined up and stuck together. Now I could join these, um, but before I do that, what I want to do is check how these are actually lined up. Um, there's several different options, and right now they're line, lined up um, just uh, like next to each other. And um, for 3D printing, we want to make sure that that seam is invisible, so we want to make sure that they line up um, better than that. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go under Analyze Surface and um, there are some settings here we have uh, and the two that we're going to look at are Environment Map and Zebra Map and these do essentially the same thing um, and that is project an image onto our surface that allows us to see how things are lining up so you can do this environment map which essentially turns your surface into a highly reflective one and reflects a picture off of it and so you can you know s line up the picture and see how that um, lines up you know how if you get are getting distortion there um, I think and you can change the picture and and whatnot. Um, I personally find it a little bit easier to do the zebra, which uh, does essentially the same thing. Here it's asking me what objects I want to um, analyze. So I'm going to select my two surfaces and hit return. And now it instead of projecting uh, some reflected um, image it's projecting a bunch of lines and I can come up here and I can change them to horizontal or vertical depending on what um, works best I can change the thickness of the line um, so I got a thicker line and I can change the color to something I like, you know, like purple. I kind of like that blue, so I'll, I'll stick with that. Or cyan. Um, and I'm gonna keep my lines thinner now because it's uh, a small object, and it I can get more detail that way. Okay, uh, so I can just move this box out of the way and. Um, now I can zoom in and I can see that um, you know these things are lining up pretty well uh, but I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna um, check their and, and uh, give it an even tighter alignment 